Hi folks, so we have made it to the Charles Dickens Museum. It's not that far, like I say, it's not that far from uh, from uh, King's Cross and what have you. Uh, 20 minute walk, give or take. Yeah, around about that I guess. Uh, so, here it is, it's right across the road from me. It's right here. Uh, and here we go. I'm hoping, like the Canal Museum, they allow me to film. I have no idea if they will or not. Uh, I'm hoping so. So it's £9.50, this is. Uh, so, yeah, we shall check it out, guys. Hopefully, like I said, I'll be able to film in there. So, uh, so it's £9.50. Uh, oh, you know what? You only live once. Might as well. Okay, folks, catch you guys inside. Hopefully. Bye for now. Hi, folks. So, look, look at this flipping dining table. Look. Wow. How cool is that? Oh, wow. So, the lady at the entrance was telling me that uh, Charles and his wife, Charles Dickens and his wife, lived here for two years. There he is. That's the man himself. I'll show you a portrait of her and him in a minute. Um, but yeah, they lived here for 80, uh, oh, sorry, for two years and they paid £80 a year apparently. £80 a year to rent this. I mean, come on, flip it back. £80 a year. I mean, I don't know what that works out at a week. I haven't got a clue off the top of my head. Oh my God, look at this. This is so cool. Wow. How awesome is that? That's what you call table wear, isn't it? Flipping egg. Oh, this is awesome, man. Look at this like, curved door. I wonder if that went somewhere at one point. <laughs> I guess it must have done. Well, oh, look at that old clock. Whoa. This is beautiful, man. This is so beautiful. Look, here it is. So there they are. He was 25, apparently, and she was 22. Look at that. That is cool. This is so cool. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we've got a little room guide as well. I'll give you a little guide to all the different rooms. We'll check it out later. Brilliant. So now we go downstairs now. So let's check downstairs. We're going into the cellar. <laughs> look, look at this. Wow. This is awesome, man. So, oh, look, look, big set of keys. Oh man, let's check this one first. There's so many rooms to check out. Wow. These old fireplaces, man. Wow. One imagines they must be the real uh, original, I guess. Look at this, look at this old stone sink and water pump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cool, guys. I like little cupboards. I don't think you can open these, though. No. No. <sighs> Have you ever noticed that? When you go to visit a place, or like historical places, or, or wherever, really, you always want to check the drawers, or the doors, to cupboards and things. Have you ever noticed that? I do, anyway. I guess it's because I'm nosy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look. Awesome. Oh look, there's a wine cellar. Oh flipping heck. But I don't think you can go in there. Look, it's locked, I think. Oh, oh wow, there's a wine cellar. No way. Oh my. Oh man, I have to check that. <coughs> cool. 
Oh look at all the herbs. I only just noticed that. That brings back some memories. <laughs> Sorry, made me think of something. I've related that story once before, well a couple of times before I think. Um, but I won't go into it right now. Uh, but yeah, that just reminded me of something. I look, the scullery, I, I guess. Uh, is it? Is that what they call it? The uh, place where you do the laundry. I'm sure that's what they used to call it. Scullery, I think. Oh wow, well, yeah, this is this is called a dolly. This was called a dolly. Uh, that's what used to sort of churn up the clothes in the water. And of course this is, um, there's a name for this thing and all, I can't remember what it's called now. There is a name for that and all. Where they rack, where they hang the clothes on. We used to have one of them. Uh, in one of our houses, back in Withingshaw, we used to have a, one of those things. Uh, this, I guess, is like your original washing uh, machine, essentially. Washing tub. So you put water in your clothes in there, and then you put a little fire, and you heat it up, you see. Uh, and that's how you would sort of boil wash your clothes, essentially. Uh, and then you would put them in there, like I say, and this thing, like I say, this is called a dolly. And then you would sort of do that, and you would twist it around. And you would do all that to, uh, so, you know, like like a like, literally like a again early form of washing machine essentially. Um, but yeah, I think this is what we call a scull scullery. I think I'm almost certain of it. Sorry, I'll just check this here a second. A wash house. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, ooh, can you actually go in there? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, you can. Look. See, look, wine cellar. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think any of those have got wine in, though. Hang on, let's go pop through the bars a second. There we go. Ah, cool wine cellar. Wow. Well, a little candle over there, but it's not real. Uh, but as you can see, they're all, they're all well, say all empty. They look like they're all empty. Maybe, maybe they're not all empty. I don't know. Oh look, there's a little toy rat on there. Can you see that guys? I don't know if you can see it that clearly. Hang on. Let me zoom in. Look, there's a rat. It's not real of course. Like one of those rubber ones. <laughs> Hello Mr. Rat. Uh, you getting drunk there? Or what? <laughs> wow. So cool guys. Awesome. Alright, hang on. Sorry. Got to manoeuvre through the bars. <laughs> yeah, what's it say here? Uh, uh, I can't read it because of the way it's... I can't read that. Uh, anyway, right. Uh, okay, let's go and investigate the rest of the house. Bye for now. Okay, folks. So, now into what I presume is the kitchen. Uh, yeah, wow, all oh, this, do you know, this is really, do you know, like I've always said, I say this all the time in all the places I go, where it's outside, inside, or whatever, I always say about how a place feels, you know, um, and this has got a really nice feel to it, I mean, I'm not just saying that either, there, there's no, like, you know, some places I've been, sort of historical places or whatever, look at me being a right nosy so-and-so, aren't I? All right, nosy Cohen. Opening all the drawers and all the cupboards. Sorry, folks. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if you're as nosy as I am. I want to know what's inside these cupboards. Oh, dear. I love these lamps. I know they're not, again, not original gas lamps, but you can imagine not oil lamps. You can imagine what they look like in their day. You've got a back door there. I don't know if you can go out there, but... Oh, look at these bonnets. Oh, you got these bonnets. This is cool. Oh, you know me. I know. It's a lady's bonnet, but hey. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I say. It's lady bonnet here. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, man. I love it. Oh, I'm going out for the day. <laughs> oh, boy. 
love it. So you got some, I'm not trying them on. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing though. It's really cool. Oh, another stone sink with a water pump. Because of course they didn't have running water either, I guess. Wow. Even in a place like this, which is, when you think about it, it's quite a posh area. It's not like we're living in most of them here. I mean, but even then, they didn't have running water. A dirty house produces dishonest people. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Not sure if I completely agree with that necessarily, but I kind of see where it's going. People's houses can be dirty for other reasons, not necessarily because they're dishonest, necessarily. But I kind of see where it's coming from as well. Oh, look, there's a flipping hedgehog! No way! Oh, it looks like it's a ta taxidermist one as well, because it looks... Oh, that feels real. That's like... Because I've picked up hedgehogs before. I've held hedgehogs many, many times before. Uh, that looks like it's a taxidermist. It's not like a model one or reaper, you know. Oh, wow. There's a hedgehog in the kitchen. Why is there a hedgehog in the kitchen? What is that? And why does it say demon on it? <laughs> and there's a coal scuttle. That's a coal scuttle. Uh, I'm just wondering if that's real. I'm just keeping my like, nosy so I'm a very tactile person as well. Oh look, it is. It's real. It's real coal. Look at that. Wow. Cool. I've got all over my jeans now. Oh, no. oh no, it doesn't open. Well, look at that. An old uh, kettle. And look at the iron. It's an original iron light. Wow. Oh, look, and you've got a set of them up here. That, I have no idea what that is. I've never seen one of them before. Maybe it's uh, a guard. You know, you put it in front of the fire, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. You know, rolling pins. Jam jars. Hmm. And jelly moulds. Cool. Wow. Awesome. Right, let's go and check upstairs, guys. See you later. There you are, guys. What did I tell you? Scullery, kitchen, wash house, and wine cellar. See? I told you it's called a scullery. Oh. Okay. Catch you guys later. Okay, folks, now we're going up the stairs. Hey, look at this. Oh, that's interesting. There's a little door up here as well. Wow, not sure where that went. Hmm. Considering we're kind of like on the second floor, or first floor, I should say. Oh, look at this. This is so cool, man. Wow. This is awesome. Let's go in this one first like the library or something. Ooh. Oh look, this is where he sat and wrote. Well, let's have a little look at the garden a second. So that's the garden. Mm. I 
can you imagine? You live in this house for £80 a month. No, hang on, did she say £80 a year? Oh, flipping heck, I've forgotten what she said. Did you say £80 a year or £80 a month? No, I think she said a year, didn't she? I think. This is from Martin Chuzzlewick, 1843, the same year, indeed, that Dickens was writing A Christmas Carol. Marble. That's marble. Wow. Okay, let's go and check upstairs. We'll come back down here in a minute. Uh, right. Okay. It's getting slightly darker up here. <laughs> but I think she said eighty pound a eighty pound a year. Oh, flipping hell, look how many floors it's got and all. I didn't realise. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Uh, wow. Thanks. Sure, that's okay. Did you get, did you get a good one? Sorry? Yeah. 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 Thanks. Uh, yeah, all up. Bedroom. Oh, wow. Look at that. Even my glasses won't help me to read that. <laughs> it's too tiny. I can't read that. Well, look at that picture there. Hi, folks. Look at this. Four poster bed, man. Wow. And look at the back there. I was going to say tin back, but I don't think that's... Well, it might be tin, actually. It looks like it's enameled, though. So, yeah, maybe an enamel tin bath. Flipping nice, tiny. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Wow, man, this is so cool. Look, old fireplace. That's your view out your bedroom window. Hmm. Wow. I'm not sure what the bucket's there for, actually. I've just noticed there's a galvanised bucket there. Look at this. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what the bucket was for. Hmm. Oh, there's a little, ah, maybe, ah, maybe there's a leak. <laughs> Just noticed there's a plastic one on the corner there. That may be what it's for. Cool. Check this one. Oh, wow, look at this. Flipping neck. Nice thing. That's rather smart, isn't it? Like a ceremonial sword or something, I guess. Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's continue upwards. Oh, still got another room yet. Man of Science. Oh, this how this is this place is huge. Oh, there's another set of stairs there. I'll check them out in a minute. Uh, I'm not sure what's down there. Uh, right, so we can't go that way, so let's go back this way. Oh, I love those floors. I love floors that creak. It's so cool. Wow, this is like a new bit or something. Man, Mary Shelley. Ooh, that's interesting. That reminds me of my uh, little idea for the last human. You remember that little sci fi thing I was thinking about? Still not done anything with that yet. But still, that's what it just reminded me of seeing that then. The last human. 
Oh, I like these little half doors. Oh, these little half doors, look. Oh, I can't move them. <laughs> the little half doors, that's cool. They did have servants, this is where they would live, isn't it? Because yeah. servants' quarters yeah. usually were upstairs, weren't they? So, thanks. This is almost like an abandoned explorer. Well, not quite. <laughs> Just looking in all the cupboards and stuff. Look, oh, chamber pot. Whee. What's that? Prison grill. The Marsh... What? Marshall Sea Prison Grill. Hmm. Oh, it says don't touch. I was going to touch it. It says don't touch, so I better not. Uh, I'm not sort of like all like theatre thing. Like that, that right? you can. I say, it's a fine day today. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. Well, that looks rather modern looking. That doesn't look like Charles Dickens era, does it? I don't see somebody wearing that today. Wow. Does it say anything there? There's some of that. Oh no. Oh, it's a little secret, little secret cubby old thing. That's not that. What's that? Oh, look. Is that the original wallpaper? It is. That's the original wallpaper. Oh, how cool that they've, like, put a little panel in so you can see the original. Wow. Cool. Oops. Sorry, sorry, folks. I'm trying to do things and keep the camera rolling at the same time. That looks kind of modern, though. You could see somebody wearing that, couldn't you? That doesn't look like it was like around in the 18th or whatever hundreds or whatever. I mean, these these things in here. Look. Oops. Oops. No. Stay. Stay. Not for crying out loud. Hang on. Sorry, folks. I mean. Like I say, you can see some of these things being around in them days. Oh, is this a waistcoat? Oh, it's a little waistcoat. Mm, cool. I want to see if there's any little hats. Oh, there's a little hat. Look, got to try it. You know me. Got to try these things on. Oof, I can't get it on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, for crying out, it won't fit. Never mind. Got anything else? No? Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, it's even got, like, I don't know if it's an attic or what, but it looks like it may have an attic. I don't know, it's, uh, it's just a little. Oh, that's kind of interesting. A little sort of observation window on the stairs. 
Wow. That's pretty cool. And there's a little sort of corner window over there as well. Hmm. How interesting. <laughs> Let's check it out. Wow. So this must be some of his writings. There being a general conviction. No, sir was always the right answer to this gentleman. The chorus of no was very strong. This little funny little corner window there. That's interesting. Well. Please sir, I want some more. Oh. Stairs. Right. Ooh, it's really hot in here for some reason. Well, at least I am anyway. Flip neck. Alright. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Thanks. Cheers. Go back out this way. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Right. So that's where the second staircase is. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. So obviously the bathroom. Which, um, I might need to avail myself of, but I'm not sure actually. Uh, okay. Why am I so hot in here? Bring on. Oh, whoa! What the heck? Hang on. That looks like there's a mirror there. No, oh, it's a glass. It's a glass. What is this about? What is this? Oh, ooh, ew, sorry, nearly fell over. Uh, Pepper's Ghost. Ah, become a ghostly vision. And by. I've got to go in there. I've got to check this out. <gasps> what? Eww. Right. Let's scare a few people as they come past. What's this button for? Ooh. Am I supposed to have the button on? I have no idea. See, I don't know how this works. It's like there's a piece of glass in front of me, there's a chair, and I'm assuming... Right, hang on. I need, this is when I need somebody to help film me. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Wait. Let's see. Oh, I see. I get it. So, um, your reflection is supposed to look like a ghostly apparition sat in the chair. I get it. So when I put the light on, ta -da! See, because I'm having to lean forward, I can't, not saying, but... Yeah, you're supposed to be like a ghost, sat in the chair. Oh. Wow, I see, I get it. Wow. This is pretty cool, it's like one of them photo boobs, man. But only not getting photographed. <laughs> right, hang on, let me just try this again. One second. Right. Trouble is, I need somebody to film me right now because obviously I can't see <laughs> unless I stick the camera out there. Right, hang on, folks. Oh man, a ghost with a camera. <laughs> right, okay. So, let's see. So, let's press that a minute. So yeah, obviously if there was somebody sat there, where I was just sat, then 
Yeah. Cool. That's really good. Oh. Well. So there's your early former camera. Imagine vlogging with that one. <laughs> it's a good vlogging camera. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's go and check the rest of the building. It's a big place actually. It's not bigger than I thought it was. Okay, let's keep on going. Oh, there's plenty of loose in this place at least. That's something I'm noticing. There's definitely plenty of loose. Look at these wooden floors, man. These floors are amazing. Oh, I see. And this is how we come out. But there's a couple of rooms. Oh, there's a shop down here. Oh, is this way we came in? I think it is. Let's have a look. So, ah, oh, right, so this is where the cafe is and stuff. Huh? Somebody's making a mocker. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, though. Let's check the garden. Let's have a look at this little garden, man. Ooh, I love these chairs. You know, like I've always said, I've never really been a big fan of leather, but I like these red buttoned leather chairs and that. Some, I really like the wing back ones. I love those. But overall, generally speaking, I don't like uh, leather sofas. I never have done. Um, but let's have a look. Let's have a nose in. Oh, nice little garden. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Nice. So there we go, folks. So this is Charles Dickens's house, or was, for two years at least. Wow. You know, that's just making me think. Sorry. It's just making me think. I was thinking to myself, you know, um, you know, with the uh, Van Gogh, uh, the house where Van Gogh was, uh, it'd be so nice if we could do something similar with that, that they've done here. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, that would be amazing. I would love that. I wish they'd do that. I mean, I know they're supposed to be doing it up and, like, whoever owns it now is supposed to be... Because that would be amazing. I would love that. I wish they'd do that. I mean, I know they're supposed to be doing it up and, like... Turn it into flats for artists, but um, wouldn't it be even better if they could do something like this with it? Do you know what I mean? That'd be so cool. Man. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. So, okay, folks. So I'm gonna have a little mooch in the shop for a minute, and then uh, I'll catch you guys outside. Bye for now. Okay, folks so wow I mean today has been amazing so far I mean it's only literally just quarter to 12 now hi folks I'm in Clerkenwell at the moment uh, but I just wanted to show you this thing Look at this. how interesting this building is by the look of it a relatively new building but look the way they've made it it looks like it's made out of old slabs of concrete like hi folks so this is the old smith mill market and this building here man do you know i wish I, I wish i knew there was a way in there i'd love to explore that i love the smell of tarmac in the morning it smells like victory how cool is this machine it's funny as well because I've just been watching a ton of videos uh, showing these things all around the world doing their thing like that's pretty cool man wow yeah look at this place man 
I would seriously love to go and investigate in there, man. Oh, man, look. Look at this place. Wow. Oh, it'd be so cool to go and investigate in there, man. Wow. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, no idea what's going on here, folks. But look at that camera rig up there. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? <sighs> okay, folks. So, it's been a day of historic houses and stuff today. Uh, so, this is going to be... I'm going to have so, so much footage today. Right. So this is the place. You remember I was here early hours one morning checking it out, blah blah blah. Now, obviously there's a couple of issues. One, uh, how much is it going to be? And two, will they let me film? 